What's up guys this is me Tapan here and welcome to my channel and welcome to another new video. In this video I am going to teach you art and craft together. Yes guys whatever I just told right now I will be doing art and craft together. That means we will be doing some drawing and painting and along with that we will be doing some craft also. So you can understand this video will be very very interesting. So watch it till the end don't skip the video I hope it will be very helpful for you. Before going to start a small request to everyone can you see the subscribe button please click on that and press the bell notification icon so whenever i'll be uploading any new video you will get the notification so without wasting any time let's get started for this project we need glue scissor round pen brush black marker and oil pastel and dual color a4 paper instead of dual color a4 paper if you have single color a4 paper that also you can use so as you can see i'm going to take out two different color of a4 paper one is sky blue another one is red so we are going to make origami before making origami we have to know what is origami origami is the japanese art of folding paper into decorative shapes and the figures so the japanese people they used to make origami with paper folding ori means folding and gami means paper so whatever art we will make with paper folding that is called origami so as you can see i have taken the red paper and i have already folded from the middle now i am going to cut in the same line with the scissor whenever you are cutting the paper you have to be very very careful if you do a simple mistake then what will happen might be you will cut your fingers you will get hurt so you have to be very very careful and not only that you have to be careful for cutting the paper also because it has to be perfect straight line so now you can see again i am folding from the middle that means from one a4 paper we can cut into four pieces so from the four pieces we will use only one paper whenever we are going to make origami the paper has to be square if it's not the square shape then what we have to do we have to make it into the square shape generally a4 paper the size is 8 inch by 12 inch that is rectangular shape so after cutting one fourth of the a4 paper you can see that paper is also looking rectangular and now i am folding from the right side to left side into triangular shape then what will happen i can make the paper into square mode so before going to start origami you have to remember our paper has to be square if it's not square then we have to fold it from the right corner to the left side and after that we have to cut this extra part and remember whatever origami we are making today we should not throw the extra part because we can use that extra part also so now you can see what i am doing i am taking my paper from bottom to top and i am folding and pressing it to make the crease whenever we are making origami if we don't make the crease properly then it will be difficult for us to get the proper folding so after making the crease cross you will get a cross sign or the multiply sign or alphabet x on your paper from both the corner and now i have taken the bottom corner to the top then what will happen i can make one horizontal crease see already i got the cross line and one more horizontal line now i am folding my paper into triangle shape 
whenever again and again i'm telling whenever we are making origami we have to press our paper properly we have to make the crease nicely then only we can go for the next step now see i have kept my paper into triangle mode and from the middle fold or the middle crease i'm just going to fold it by my right hand index finger and the left side paper i have pressed with my left thumb and now again i'm pressing the paper and i'm just trying to put inside the red paper already i have that fold and by this way i can make a double triangle of red colored A4 paper. So you can see I have this side two paper and this side also two paper like left side and the right side. You can see the shape then you can understand. When you are doing this origami you have to be very very patient. No need to hurry. So now I have taken the upper right side red paper and i'm folding into left side and pressing too much to make the crease properly i will do the same thing with the left side paper there are two paper on the left side and i just have taken only one paper and i'm folding it and pressing for making the crease so our origami fish is ready so you can understand the shape we have made with the paper folding we didn't use till now any glue or any scissor for making this origami just to cut the paper and now with the help of marker i am just going to make the eyes and one curve line so our fish is ready so like this we have to make different colors of fish so as I told you before, you cannot throw the extra part because I have made a bigger fish and now I am going to make one very very small tiny fish. You can say this is a baby fish. So the same thing as I told you when we are making origami, we have to fold our paper from the right corner to the left side to get the triangular shape. After getting this vertical line, we have to make one horizontal line in the same way. However, I showed you for the bigger fish, the smaller fish also we need to do in the same way. So see, I got the plus sign on my paper. And now I am going to take the bottom two corner to the top side. Then I can make one horizontal line on our paper after making the horizontal line you have to fold it into triangle shape then you can keep it and you can press the paper with your right hand index finger and with the help of left hand thumb you can push the paper into the right side and the same thing you can do with the left hands index finger push the paper and put it inside and make the triangle perfectly it has to be pointed whenever you are making any origami you are folding it it has to be pointed properly then only you can be successful of your origami art so now i have taken the same thing like from the right side i have taken one paper and now I have taken the left side one paper and folding it to the right side. It's almost done. After that, again we need to take the black marker and with the help of black marker, we need to do the eye and that curve line. So before this blue fish, I made the red one. I made yellow, purple, green, pink, orange, like that I have made different colors of fishes. And now 
I'm going to draw some colorful stones with the help of black marker on the sky blue A4 paper. After that what I will be doing, I will be coloring with the oil pastel. The stones, whatever color you feel like to use, except the black and the white, it will be good if you don't use the black and the white, you can use any color. Now I have taken the light brown color. Maybe some of the brand it will be written brown sienna or some of the brand it will be written only brown. It's depending like whatever brand you are using. But the thing is whenever you are coloring any picture, you have to recognize the color. You have to remember the color. Like if someone will ask you how many green color are there on your color box. So you can say there are light green, gray green, dark green or deep green. Like that way we have lot of blue. So I have taken the cobalt blue now. After using the brown color I am using cobalt blue. And I am making the diagonal strokes. Not horizontal only diagonal strokes because that stone is looking little symmetrical that's why i'm just using in a drag diagonal strokes so whenever you are coloring with the oil pastel you have to remember your strokes should be same everywhere it should not be changed if it will be changed it will not look good now i am using gray color so if you don't like the gray color, you can use any color. You can use red, blue, vermilion, orange, pink, peach. There are a lot of colors. You can use 25 shades or you can use 50 shades color box also. From that, whatever color you feel like to use, you can use those colors for your painting. Now I have taken your locker color. See like what I was selling on our 25 shades or 50 shades there are a lot of yellow like lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, medium yellow, deep yellow, yellow ochre so all the names you should remember because whenever you are coloring sometimes you will not get the same brand you cannot check the number of the color so it's better to remember the color's name if you can remember the color's name, whatever object you will get to see in front of your eyes, you can recognize, whether that is a purple or violet. So now I am using purple color. And do you know the amazing fact what is the difference between purple and violet? Purple is little reddish and violet is little bluish means whenever we make the violet color with mixing of red and blue the blue color if we mix little bit more rather than the red then we can make the violet color in a opposite way we can make the purple color and we have to use the red little bit more and now i am using crimson lake crimson lake some of the color it will be written red also or dark red that is crimson red means dark red so instead of dark red if you want to use normal red or vermilion or scarlet definitely you can use that for this tone also you can understand i was just using only diagonal stroke and all the stones whenever i am coloring you can remember like I'm coloring in a same manner means all the strokes are same now I have taken the dark green color so what I was telling like you can use any color whether it can be dark green or it can be sap green brown dark brown light green any color whatever you feel like to use for these tones like these are the stones we get to see in the aquarium so those stones are very very colorful for that whatever color is your choice you definitely can use that but don't do the single color like all the stones don't make it red or all the stones don't make it blue or green like that then it will not look good if you make it colorful it will look 
better than the single color now i have taken deep yellow sometimes uh, like different brand it will be written cadmium yellow sometimes it will be written gamborg hue also so like you can understand one yellow can be having different names now this brown i am using this is written over here van dyck brown but some of the brand it can be written brunt umber some of the brand it can be written dark brown so like this way we have to complete all the stones in different different color and the color strokes should be same whenever you are coloring any stones for the whole stones you have to use the same strokes after that i am cleaning with the flat brush because what happens when we use the pastel color sometimes it gets dirty the dust comes from the pastel color that's why you can use any flat brush rather instead of using your hands hands can make your paper dirty now again i have taken cobalt blue color and i am just making few strokes on the sky blue a4 paper to make the water the shading of the water so like this way you just need to make few strokes very lightly after that one by one color a4 paper which we made the origami fish we can stick with the glue so for the glue what you can use you can use any thin pen brush or if you don't have pen brush instead of pen brush what you can use you can use toothpick also or if you have earbud that also you can use to use the glue don't use your finger because what happens when you use your finger your finger gets sticky with the glue and it can make your paper little dirty so instead of using your finger if you use pen brush or toothpick or earbud that will be better for your painting remember when you are using glue this glue are very very heavy so if you use little bit only it can stick your paper nicely so no need to use a lot of glue very few very little if you use that will be easily you can paste your paper on another paper so like this way just now i have st already stuck the pink color fish now i have taken the red one you can see for the all the fishes i am using very very little glue not too much if you use a lot of glue your paper will be very soft and maybe it will come out from the fish and it can make your sky blue color paper dirty so use little bit of glue and try to make your painting or art and craft whatever you feel like to say because this is craft also and art also like we have done little painting and we have done some with the paper also so that is called craft so whatever you are doing art and craft you should do very neatly and perfectly then only when your friends or relative or any anybody any teacher will see your work they will feel happy they will like your painting so like this way after finishing the red one i just finished sticking the yellow fish also so like this way we have to complete sticking all the fishes you just need to take little little bit glue you just need to put with cotton bud or toothpick or pen brushes use it gently be patient and do it very slowly no need to hurry take your time it's not like that you have to complete this one by one day you can take 2 to 3 days see when i am using the orange color fish i just checked where should i put where i got to see the gap there only i am using the fishes for sticking if you keep the fishes up of the another fishes 
it will not look good so wherever you are getting to see the gaps just try to use those gaps then it will look good so like this way already i stuck the green color now i have taken the purple color fish and for the small fishes also you just need to use very very little glue very tiny strokes that will be enough for the small fishes so you can use the fishes you can stick the fishes in a random way it's not like that you have to follow my one only wherever you feel like to paste the fishes definitely you can paste but the thing is what i want to tell you there should be one sequence it should not touch another fish then it will look good and you should leave little little bit gaps because this is a4 paper and we have made so many fishes on this a4 paper we have to stick all the fishes and this is the last one i am going to paste on the a4 paper and after that you can understand our work will be completed so after completing this project you can nicely decorate on your wall you can frame it or else you can just laminate the paper and you can keep it in a file properly I'm super excited to see the output. What do you guys think? Share me in the comment section below. There you go. So how was it? I hope you guys enjoyed a lot. So you can understand it's very easy and simple to do. So whenever you will be having free time if you have colorful A4 paper and oil pastel with you, easily you can make it and decorate it in your home nicely. So if you guys are making it, don't forget to click the picture and share it with me in my Facebook and Instagram. If you guys are new in this channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell notification icon so whenever i'll be uploading any new interesting video you will get the notification if you guys enjoyed watching this video and found this tutorial helpful for you then hit the like button and share it with your friends and i'm super excited to announce that this days i have started lot of online art classes if you want to join my online art classes i have given the link in the description below you can go and check it over there you will get all the notifications regarding my online art classes so till then do more art and craft be creative be confident bye bye